Northwest Bus Sales. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Eric, Northwest Bus Sales. Appreciate your time checking us out. All right, got Jackie behind the camera doing a fantastic job. So, I want to show you this. Well, needless to say, this is a daggum prison bus. So, 2005 MCI D4000. This thing is a peach. I'm here to tell you. You're going to love this coach. This right there, this would be great for, well, obviously, prisons, jailhouse, whatever, conversion, all manner of different things. So let's go inside. Let's give her a look. 2005 J. Did I just say J? It's not a J. It's a D. D4000. D4000, it's obviously it's a D model. 4000 means it's a 40 footer. This is not a 45 foot coach, Jack. Let's cruise inside. Step treads in great condition. Oh, it's nice and warm in here too. Dual entry grab bars as you come in. Look at this. All right, check it out. Driver's seat in primo condition. Tilt, telescoping wheel. I mean, it's it's just, here, let me show you. Air, air operated entry door. I'm gonna close that because it's colder than the Dickens out there. Anyhow, there we go. So check it out, air service horn air horn all the gauges functioning properly look at this 219,000 child's play Detroit series 60 12.7 219,000 this thing has got a ton of life in it backup camera look at that all your standard lights courtesy lights for the passengers or should I say the detainees or maybe the uh, uh, enrollees convicts perhaps it uh, yeah Anyways, check it out. Man, driver and passenger, heat controls. Allison, B500, six speed with the Jake brake. Parking brake over here, standard switches over here. Auxiliary heat, oh, dude, look at that. I don't know if you heard that, Jackie. That operates the rear roof hatch, not the front one up here, the rear roof hatch. So, power mirrors. Auxiliary blower fans, cruise control, entry door switch. This is the Neil. Let's check out the Neil. Look at that. Can you see outside there? Show them outside. See, watch it go up. Look at that. Kneeling feature works properly. Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful coach. Got the high idle on, high idle on right now. Yeah, it. Uh, I think you're going to be really pleased. AM FM CD player that is not currently functioning, but if that's important to you, we can definitely check that out. So power and heated mirrors, visors here. It's got the old school visors. These remind me of an MC9, these flip down old visors, Jack. Look at that. How about it? Interior convex mirrors, <clears throat> grab bars as you come in, driver modesty stanchions. This is a national driver's seat. So are the two captain's chairs here in the back. So this is a 47 passenger, 47 seated inmates in the back, three solitary confinement ones, which makes 50 and then 52 for the two guard chairs right up here in the guard shack. Look at this. Check out the, check out the literature we got here. Operator's manual D4000, general information, section one, two through four. 12 or 5 through 12 look at this look at this electrical schematics circa 2005 this thing is loaded down with all the documents goodness sakes the boss is calling jack what are we going to do got to call you back so uh look 12 volt power cigarette lighter right here cup holder for the for the guards look at this 110 outlets Needless to say, those aren't in the back. <laughs> so, look at this. You can, it's got a different feel for it. Everything's closed in. Everything's got a got a you know, a, you know, like a perforated metal enclosure over everything. So, look at this. It's got the little hatch here. I don't know the keys on the key ring, but anyhow, let's check it out. Let's cruise back here. Look at this. We got a couple of park benches right here. 
courtesy lighting all the way down, and then the solitary confinement. There's three of these. Look at this. I'll tell you what, man. You're riding right there. You probably need to do a little self-reflection, I would imagine. You know? <laughs> How about it, Jack? 30 days in the hole. There we go. Yep. Three of these babies. Three solitary confinement cages. They got, they got lock mechanisms on the top and on the bottom. Deadbolts here, deadbolts here. This is so the inmates can put their hands through so you can take their shackles off take off the ball and chain or maybe even put it on you know it and then let's go back here and then you've got uh, gin pop right here you know it uh, general population sits back here bars on the windows you are gonna see a little bit of graffiti on this window can I don't know if you can see that but somebody scratched some some stuff on those windows a little bit but man this thing is oh look there I need to let's remember to close that roof hatch that's that button i hit up there i didn't close it so power roof hatch for the back there's also another door right here which is not accessible but i have seen other mci uh jail buses that have this door here and they have a little guard shack back here that's closed in to keep the boys in line so yeah your standard park bench seating not real accommodating i'm not gonna lie they uh they look a little rough right yeah so 47 47 passengers these are fiberglass 47 passengers three solitary confinement it's pretty basic back here not a lot of bells and whistles perforated steel cages look at that yep there we have it Let's cruise around it on the outside. I think I showed you everything. Look at that. That looks like galvanized steel headliner. Insulated underneath also. Sliding windows here, that's pretty cool. Sliding windows for the guards. Yeah, so the floor is in excellent shape throughout the whole coach. Yeah, let's, let's give it a look on the outside. Here we go. 220,000 miles, 219,000 miles, Jackie. Incredible, incredible. MCI D4000, the body on this baby is tip top. I love the silver sides, look at that. Gives it kind of an old MC9 look, you know what? I love the silver sides. They use the silver sides all the way up from, man. Well, all the way up to the Ds. I've seen them on, on A's, MC9, 7, 8, 9s. MC5's front tire. There is a ton of tread on both front steer tires. Those things are, man, the tires, the tire tread's pretty good. The, the steer tires, great condition. The drive axles are in decent condition. A fair amount of tread on those. And then the tag tires are tip top as well. So, yeah. Docking lights right here. Let's check out the underfloor storage area. Look at this. Give them a look at that. You see that box there? Not the cardboard box. Look, we'll even throw in a gallon of Earl for you. It, uh, it's got some extra fluids and stuff in here. This box here, you see it's got the banner up top. There's actually a couple more 8Ds in there. A couple of 8D batteries. Yeah, fire extinguishers, some other hazard devices and stuff. Looks like tire chains and whatnot. So this thing actually has a backup battery system. Always charging those. Standard D model, under four storage in great shape i'm not seeing any any damage along these luggage rails here these exterior luggage rails often those will be damaged well look no sooner than i said that jack look this one's pushed in on the battery box watch your head there we go look at that so a little action there a couple more 8d's master switch right here road hazard triangles wheel chocks tire tool the whole shooting match there you go fuel tank right here 192 gallon capacity on the fuel tank the stainless steel is in tip-top shape all the way around minor minor dings and scratches here and there you can see the diagnostic system inside there there's leds for all the multiplexing and what have you and yeah great condition get them a shot of the drive tires there will you and show them the undercarriage a little bit 
Looks pretty good. There ain't a lick of rust on this bus. It came from, this bus actually came from the Portland, Oregon area, about two and a half, three hours south of us. I personally drove this up from there. It came from a jailhouse down there in the Portland area. You can tell it's been well maintained. Yeah, so rust isn't really an issue here in the Pacific Northwest, especially here on the I-5 corridor, you know. They don't use the gnarly road salts. Well, the I-5 corridor, which is probably all this thing ever really did. Yeah, it hardly ever gets snow. And when it does, it's gone by noon. Tag tire's in great shape. Ton of tread there. Those are pretty meaty. Look under here. Look at the airbag right here. This is a common area for corrosion on D models, so I'm not seeing, man, I'm not seeing a whole lot. Look at the drive line down there, rear axle, tag axles. Looks great. Body, again, is in primo shape. You are going to see some minor dings and scratches. I can see some dings up top there on that upper corner. Somebody got into a tree branch or something there. Right in here, you can access the side of the engine here. AC compressor right there. Fuel filter. Man, look how clean that is. This is a, dude, let's open up the barn doors here. Look at this. Open up the barn doors there, get a look at the, man, get down to the business end right there. Look at that. What we have is a Detroit Diesel Series 60 12.7. Man, you can't go wrong with that. Mary doing Alice and B500. It's got a Jake on it. 455 ponies, man. 455 horse. This thing will haul the mail. You do see a little bit of paint peeling and chipping on the back here a little bit. Let me point this out to this here. Other than that, I tell you what, that's got to be the worst of it. Backup camera up there, all LED lights, LED clearance lights, turn signals, the ambers, everything's LED. Well, looks like the backup lights aren't. But this is, this is a step. This right here is this is for the optional cage, the guard shack that you can mount in the back, grab bars up here. So this one obviously wasn't outfitted that way, but this is kind of a standard configuration for a jail bus. So look at this. Look how clean this is. Look at it. Man. This baby is a cream puff. I hope you guys enjoyed our other video, our con air spoof on that. That uh, Jackie, man, he busted his tail on that video. That was a lot of fun doing that one, man. All right, again, rust free. This thing, I don't know. I'm actually trying to find something wrong with it and I'm not. This thing's in great condition. Yeah, there you go. Drive tires again, decent shape. The steer and the tags are actually got a whole lot of tread on them. Really meaty. So, look at that. Passenger side, or pardon me, driver side under store floor, under, under floor storage. AC condenser here and fans. Look at it. I'm not sure there's ever been a whole lot of luggage in these things at all. Yeah. This is a great bus. Yeah, paint's in good shape, body's in good shape, the billboards are all in good shape. Looks great. Ton of tread on the steers. J-Box in here. Oh, we're gonna need the key for that. Anyhow, I've looked inside there, man. It's in, again, I know I keep saying it, but I love this bus. This is a, this thing's a sweet bus. So, yeah, fog lights down low. Oh, I can see one of the lenses are busted here. One of the, it's got a hole in it right there. So, yeah, I think that'll do it for this baby. This is a 2005 MCI D4000 Motor Coach Industries, industry leader. Can't go wrong. Series 60 Detroit 12.7, 455 horses in a 40 foot coach, no less. That's nothing to sneeze at. So. Allison B500, 47 passengers, two guard seats, three solitary. Check us out online, nwbus.com. Please give us a call. 
with any questions, 800-231-7099. Thanks.